I will be continuing to teach how to transmute trauma. This is something that has been a little difficult for me because it seems like I enjoy talking about the shadow things that a lot of people don't. And so I would try to cut back on how much I'm talking about those things, trying to please everybody. And I can't please everybody. Nobody can. So from here moving forward, I'll be discussing some of the traumatic experiences collectively that we are feeling oftentimes due to the astrological alignment. And I'm going to be giving the solution which is contained in the chakra camps for inner child healing sexual healing and confidence and also in the 3d matrix detox which is a reprogramming of the subconscious mind using affirmations mantras meditations rituals sigils dream work mirror mirror work and shadow work okay so that's what we're going to be doing. I will give a crystal from each week that can support whatever it is that you are focusing your energy and intention on to bring in healing to, integrating, and bringing some balance into your life. As someone who has had a lot of shadow experiences, it was imperative to me to teach people how to find your galactic signature without knowing the harmonic frequency that made your soul. It is more difficult to navigate. Just knowing that activates the original template that was set for our soul to have this experience in the course in that information you will go through a 13 day soul retrieval process and that's going to allow you to ask the correct questions and your I divine self is going to show you the answer through synchronicities through dreams through situations that happen through aha moments which I call Akashic Downloads because this is the book of life that's inside of you some of the information that has been locked away being accessible so this is what you can expect from me moving forward we will continue with the um, intuitive updates for full and new moon um, we will continue with the tarot card readings because divination absolutely is a game changer for those who have awakened and are desiring to create their own reality and you may not know but most of the successful people in this world the most powerful people in this world who seem to have found their life purpose have used astrology divination spiritual practices to attain that level of clarity and actually law of attract it into their lives. I'm going to do something that I have put off for a few years because I feel that people are ready now. I feel that we're all ready now. As we are watching the collapse of everything we grew up with in the world, we feel this internally. And for those of us who are sensitive to energy, for those of us who were given certain medications and things to eat and things to drink and things to brush your teeth with and it affected your brain development they call it autism or ADHD these are simply effects of trauma experienced externally through the systems in the 1260 prison planet which I go into heavily using the Mayan calendar. These are the effects of that. The karma from the planet Maldek, 
it's affecting us now to trigger us into our highest potential. There are so many probabilities of what we can become. The way we respond to ourselves and others day by day determines the probability of what happens. Your life is an accumulation of the decisions that you have made and avoided making. That's what creates our reality. Without the understanding of what creates reality, it is difficult to understand the path that is going to be most aligned with your true self, which many of us are discovering remnants of. And we're sometimes surprised by discovering some of the things we didn't know about ourselves. So what I'm going to do, since my dream, of the future is what brought all of us, anyone who may be listening to me right now, this was going to be a personal memo for myself, but I'm going to share this. I'm going to be bold. I'm going to be courageous and I'm not going to hold nothing back because y'all told me y'all want the smoke. And I know that we sick of the smoke screen and there will be some uncomfortable energies throughout this process. But I'm telling you, if you continue to be on this journey, If you continue to open up to the possibilities of where this awakening journey can lead you, you will see the benefit of that. You will see the results in your reality. And I know this simulation is doing everything it can possible to paint a catastrophic negative. It's just not going to end well. Reality. We want to be careful about that. We want to be cautious about the ideas and thoughts that we take ownership of, okay? So yes, a lot of things are being destroyed and collapsing, but it's not so that we end in disaster. We didn't come here to do that. We have not come this far to end in disaster, okay? We're not doing that. And you might be broken, you might cry, you might feel like you can't start again, your heart might just feel like it's in a million pieces and you don't know where to pick the pieces up to even begin putting them together. Let me tell you, your I divine self already knows how to do all of that and some. So lean it into trusting the ego for the spiritual awakening portion of your journey. It's not useful. The ego is very useful, but not for the higher consciousness. Okay? Higher consciousness is directed by the I divinity within you. All right? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a master class on dream work. Using the dream work to guide you, I will be giving you the top herbs and teas that I use to help with dream work. I will be given the top crystals that help with dream work. And I will also share with you a simple way for you to harness the power of the healing that is oftentimes happening in our dreams. And it's very simple. When it comes to dream work, sometimes we overcomplicate it because we're trying to remember every single detail. And it's not necessary because, again, your brain is a quantum computer. You don't have to remember every detail. But remembering what it felt like as soon as you woke up, that feeling will lead you into your own personal light codes, your aha moments, your Akashic downloads. The book of life becomes enlightened illuminated for you to see pages you couldn't see before this is why the name changed to new verse you are writing new verses you are no longer existing as someone who is half asleep while alive okay so what happens while we're asleep that's live that is streaming live 4d giving 3D information that is keeping you stuck and showing to you the possibilities of 5D higher consciousness that can be a part of your reality. Now, I gave you a little piece of what's going to be in this master class, but hear me when I say this. You don't want to miss this. 
It's not a lot of people that have had not one, but two near-death experiences. And the direction for my life was not only guided by the information I received in the near-death experience, but by the dreams. And I was very lucid in these dreams. And I've been collecting and gathering data for us to break free of the simulation. And we are. So you can sign up for that event um, on our website, but I'm gonna choose the most impactful, powerful day so that we are being supported by the astrology according to the Mayan calendar, which is a lunar calendar, okay? So this lunar energy represents the mind. Lunar energy represents the feminine principle. Lunar energy also represents the unconscious subconscious mind according to many occult teachings and esoteric Gnostic teachings the soul visits the moon once you depart from your physical body it's a station in the journey of the soul's evolution throughout incarnations so the moon is very significant And I know it's talk about whether or not the moon is artificial intelligence and it's just a satellite that a particular faction of aliens put out there to control us. I get that. But one thing for sure, the moon impacts the mind. The moon impacts water on the planet. The moon impacts the tides, whether or not they are low or high. And if ancient cultures who accomplish things that we have yet to accomplish, it makes sense to pay attention to the lessons from the moon, the lunar lessons. This is what we'll be doing. So get ready, stay tuned, become a member of the website. If you are not, be sure to sign up for the email newsletter. You will receive a 10% off anything in our store discount just for signing up for our email newsletters and you also will receive more discounts through the sms text messaging service so when you see those text messages you want to make sure you jump on that because those are sales that only happen in particular timing based on the planetary alignment so that whatever you are purchasing is going to be filled with astrological battery power to help you channel that intention in an amplified manner. The Virgo in me that is a perfectionist, it helps me a lot to do this. So pay attention to that. If you don't know the phone number to receive the text messages from us, it has been posted on the community tab on YouTube. It has been posted in our Instagram post, and it is also available on our website. One other thing that I want to encourage those of you who are already in the chakra camps and the 3D Matrix Detox course, sit aside a few minutes a day or a few minutes a night to open the course and look at the content. Even if you don't have time to work through some of the ceremonies that are in there, look it over because when you connect your eyes and your third eye with this information, it is going to activate more synchronicities to direct you. Synchronicities isn't a passive thing. It's a co-creation. It's the ability for us to connect to a certain radio station a certain channel and the ability to be aware of when the universe is reflecting a message back to us based on the radio station that we are listening to connected to seeing reading opening up to your eyes are the windows of the soul so i know some of you have expressed to me that sometimes you just don't have the time or you don't have the motivation to do the work Just open it 
and read some of the content for the day of the course where you are because it's broken down in days for you to work through and you will see an impact just by doing that and you may feel um more inspiration to go ahead and actually plan to do some of the ceremonies or answer some of the questions the deep dives that's in there and i made it fun as fun as it possibly could be i mean shadow work is difficult and i i am healing some very intricate inner child wounds right now and the shadow work has been difficult because i'm more sensitive i'm very sentimental and i've been feeling very nostalgic um so i infuse humor throughout my courses because that's what helps me laughter truly is medicine for the soul and more laughter is coming my life has been like one of those movies where the shit that's really happening is really pretty pretty fucked up but it's fucking hilarious and why is it so funny because you learn how to reframe the situation you learn how to PRP it, the positive reframe pivot, and you practice doing that. And your own shadow will become a comedian. And you will have moments where you still are just feeling the dense emotions of whatever you're working through. But you will also have moments of profound laughter. And this is the wisdom of Buddha. This is why the laughing. Buddha is laughing. Enlightenment leads to laughter. <laughs> And you realize that you have made some things um, so difficult that didn't have to be. They actually were showing up to offer you liberation and some laughter. Um, so, yes. So, if you knew and you don't know, these courses that you're concerned about getting stuck in a dark night of the soul or needed to be retrieved from the sunken place, I kept all of that in mind as I was creating this. And this has been since 2006 using those dreams and if you all go back you'll see that everything is accurate the timeline the events that are pertaining to what we're experiencing now and at the time i didn't know that the mayans had a lunar calendar and many other ancient indigenous cultures had no idea i was only using my gift of being able to read the akashic records so my makeup is very connected to the ethers all right so just a little bit about the course and we will be talking more about that because I do believe um, that we are coming into a time where knowing how to approach your grief is going to better prepare you for some of the events that will be taking place from whenever you're hearing this up to 2029. OK, these are the quickenings and the callings that are taking place. It is not to destroy humanity kind of is humanity as in maybe the egoic way of humanity that we have just become hurt people who hurt people that's going away okay but this has not come to end your evolution this has come to help our evolution so i want to give a shout out to vanita you gave a donation, Vanita, when I didn't even ask for it. And I thank you. I appreciate you so much for that. Because running a business that is funded by the people who participate in the business, and that is it. It gets difficult sometimes. And sometimes the budget does get tight. So I thank you for that. And I'm not ashamed to say that. It is because of your support that we are able to continue to bring more content to you to house these sacred spaces we have multiple vip groups for any area that you are wanting to delve deeper into where you can share things with us that nobody else in the world can see except people who are like-minded and on a similar wavelength that's so important to keep and there have been moments where i said to myself maybe i need to cut down on some of this but I know the power of having a sacred place to share your perspective and your voice. This is what we are doing right now, as I talked about in the April 2023 Libra Full Moon Intuitive Guide through this energy transmitting what's coming up 
and the tarot card reading that followed, it almost seemed as if I planned it out and figured out what cards I was going to pull three days after I did the intuitive transmission. But I didn't. It was all happening live, real time. We are the new verse. We are scripting our lives for the cypher that we are living so that our soul can sing the song it came to sing. I know that probably sounds ooey gooey and too good to be true, but it is not. It is happening. And we will not allow what we've been through to be diminished. Our past, our trauma from this point forward is used for our leverage to lead us to our power. That's what the new verse is about. We live in real, in color, in life. Man, your third eye has been lovingly kissed. Numiste. Namaste. Royalty in disguise.